In Windows 10, we are using Hyper-V, and I've got a Windows Server 2016 virtual machine running. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to export the virtual machine. So if we right-click on the server, and we go down to export. Now, export is different than move. If we move the virtual machine, it will actually move the entire virtual machine storage while the machine is running to another location. Whereas export leaves the original virtual machine right where it is, doesn't do anything to it, it just makes a copy of it. So when you click on export, you choose browse, and then you choose the location where you want to put it, and you click select folder, and then export. Now I've already gone ahead and done this with this particular one, I've already chosen export, and here's what happens. When you do that, it creates a new folder called the same thing as what the name of the virtual machine is, and when you double click on it, what it does is it exports not just the virtual machine, which it did here, but it also exports any snapshots you might have taken, which are now called checkpoints, by the way, although Microsoft hasn't renamed the name of the folder yet. And then it also exports any other settings, such as how many processors it uses, the um, smart paging information, any other integration services, anything else it uses, it also exports all those settings here in these files. Let's go back up. So when you go to import a virtual machine, you just go ahead and point it to this location and it will import all that information back in and you'll be able to run that virtual machine in another location. Now, if you're on the same network as the original server and you try to run them both at the same time, you will get an error because they both have the same global user IDs. So you'll have to run a sysprep instead, which strips out all that information, which I've shown in another video. So that is how you export a virtual machine using Hyper-V in Windows 10.